I want to thank you all for coming out. It really means a lot to me and my family. <sighs> all right. So I'm going to be reading Matthew chapter 20, verse 16. But before I read it, I just kind of want to give you guys a quick scenario about these words that Jesus spoke. Um, <clears throat> it's fitting for me and us in our lives right now. Uh, but I don't want it to be taken out of context either. Um, and basically, when people take scriptures out of context, they take the words and they try to use them or manipulate them to mean specific things that they want. And they don't tell the whole entire story. So I just kind of want to let you guys know that Jesus would tell parables. And their um, parables are they're a lot like metaphors, um, anecdotes, stories that had uh, moral codes to them at the end. And so um, usually it was a spiritual moral to the story. Um, and in this particular story, uh, there's a landowner who goes out first thing in the morning and he finds people out in the town and he hires them and makes a deal with them and says, I want you to come and work on my land until this hour and I will pay you this much. Um, so he makes a deal with each and every person that goes. Now, uh, Due to inflation, and, uh, well, we're in Texas, and, I mean, Jesus rode on a burro, right? So, uh, I'm going to use pesos as an example, but, he, like, let's say he tells one person that he's going to pay them a hundred pesos. And then at the end of the day, they're, that's what they expect to get paid. So, throughout the day, he keeps going and he keeps bringing more people and more people. And towards the end of the day, he's still bringing people that only worked about two or three hours on his land. And he has everyone line up to get paid. So he has those who, the last ones to arrive are getting paid first. And those who had gotten their first thing in the morning and been working all day, they stand at the end of the line. And he's paying each and every single person 100 pesos. So the people at the end of the line who had been there all morning are thinking, man, he's paying them 100. That means we're, we should get paid more because we've been here longer. We've been here all day. So by the time they get to the end of the line, he's giving them their 100 pesos. And they're like, wait. You gave them 100 pesos and they only were, they were only here for a short amount of time. That's not fair. And the landowner says to them, how is this not fair? When I and you both agreed that this is what you would be paid. Um, I think it's fitting in our lives right now uh, because this isn't fair. But... Their deal with God was their deal, and it's none of my business. And my deal with God is my deal with God, and that's none of anyone else's business. It's my time. And he had a deal with each and every single one of these ladies, and whatever job it was that they needed to do for him has been done. It's up to us to honor that and to honor our own specific deal with God. So, I read to you Matthew, Matthew, I'm sorry, Matthew, chapter 20, verse 16. So the last shall be first, and the first shall be last. For many are called, but few are chosen. I want to leave you with this. We are all called to a purpose in this life, each and every single person here. And we have not been chosen yet. So I just ask you to keep doing whatever it is you feel God puts on your heart to do what's right for you, for your family, for your friends, and just continue on that pursuit. <sighs> Until I'm chosen, I will remain proud and rejoice in the life that my daughter had and the deal she made with God, and I will rejoice in the life Nicole had and the deal she made with God, and I will rejoice in the life that London had. And the deal that she made with God. And I am thankful for each and every single one of these ladies and what they mean to all of us. This is powerful love right here. These three ladies carried that and we know it and we will remember them forever for that. Thank you. <laughs>